Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently on my Instagram, I uploaded an IGTV video of me making this geode piece and so many people wanted like a full YouTube video about it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this geode piece. I can't tell you how obsessed I am with the colors of this one. We're gonna go in a totally different direction of like pinks and peaches. This thing has crystals and glitter. Obviously it has glitter. If it's one of my pieces, it has glitter. Um, it has like a really cool border that's like jagged and really cool and like geode-like. There's glass pieces and pigments. There's even like, and I always say this wrong, but it's like Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made this geo piece, then <gasps> that was one of the biggest bees I've ever seen. That was that had to have been one of those like it's like a moth bee a bee moth is that what it is or am i just crazy that's a thing right <laughs> anyway if you guys are interested in seeing how i made this geode piece and you want to see us make an entirely new one with different colors and everything then continue watching <laughs> So I am a brand ambassador for Counterculture DIY and they do send me a lot of their product for free but this video is not sponsored and I kind of just wanted to put that out there just so you guys know. We will be using a lot of Counterculture DIY's products to make this piece. Okay so what I used for the base of this piece is actually a Counterculture DIY acrylic shape. So it's like this clear acrylic shape that you can pour right onto so it makes it super easy. I have another one right here. So we're going to be doing a different geode shape here. So these shapes are like creel <laughs> acrylic. Oh my. Clear acrylic. And on both sides they have this like peel off paper that is super easy to peel off. So we'll be peeling off one side and doing all the work on one side. And you can leave the other side with like the peel off paper on it. That way when we're all done we can like use a heat gun to like warm up the resin and peel it off. So we're going to be using one of those and then we'll also be using the 3D crate that is also from Counterculture DIY and that is how I made this like grayish border, this like rock kind of texture on the sides. So that's how I made that. We're going to be making the borders with the 3D crate. So my first step is going to be peeling off one side of this and then we're going to mix up some of the 3D crate with water until I get the consistency that's like this that I can kind of just like pack on the sides and in the middle to make that border.
I can see your legs in the background. Really? Yeah. I don't think they're going to be upset about it. <laughs> they can still see them. <laughs> don't pinch my leg. What? I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, so I just laid down the 3D crate. I tried to build it a little bit taller than the original geode piece that I did because when I was pouring all the different like resin colors or the colored resin, there we go, um, it started to kind of like melt off and drip off the side. So I was trying to build it a little bit taller than the last one. I did put in some of these, okay, and I'm, I cannot pronounce this. Is it Swarovski? Yes. Swarov. <laughs> anyway, I put some of these on. I put like the like clear sparkly ones on first. And I kind of didn't like it because I forgot to color the crate before I put it on. So it does kind of like when you mix it up, it is just this like grayish whitish color. Um, and you can like mix in a color. I usually use like the counterculture DIY dispersion colors to do that. I forgot to do that. So it's just the grayish white color that it originally is. Um, and I thought it just blended in too much with these ones. So I put in some blue. You can mix in as much water, m water. <laughs> you can mix in as much water as you want to the 3D crate and it'll kind of like, you just need to find the consistency that you want. So obviously less water, it's gonna make it uh, more chunky, more water, it's more liquidy. So that's what I kind of tried to do because this, when I did it this way, I used less water. It was super kind of like chunky and hard to pack on the geode. We've got it on there. I'm going to leave this until tomorrow. We'll come back and then I'm probably going to wipe down the very, ooh, geez, wipe down the very inside of it um, just to like clean up the little spots where the crate is like kind of thin and drying and like kind of crusty. Yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow.
Okay, so I think that was our final layer. So something I did not do on the other Geo piece, it's packed up in a box over here, uh, but something I didn't do with that piece is that I did not paint any like crisp lines, and I really wanted to do that with this piece because I felt like all of the other colors are so blown out and so kind of like meshed into each other that I felt like it really needed a contrast. So I think that these gold lines, like I'm kind of obsessed with them. I think they came out really good and I cannot wait to like hold it up and show you guys. So I will see you guys tomorrow when we will probably heat up the back side and peel off the back. I'll probably have to do some sanding as well around the edges and then we should be completely finished and we can ooh and ah at it together. Okay, we finished the geode. It is literally everything. This one, in my opinion, is better than the orangey, like, pinky peachish one. This is so pretty. I love the gold lines that I added. I feel like it gave it, like, more of a crisp, like, contrast between the blown out colors of, like, the green and the black. I just, this is, the, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to let this piece go, like, ever. It just gives me, like, Slytherin vibes. Which, by the way, I took that test like a handful of times. Every single time. I kid you not, every single time I turned out to be a Slytherin. I was like, there's no way I'm a Slytherin. Apparently, I'm a Slytherin. So, and, and I feel like my art just reflected that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have made or are going to make a geode piece. Tag me on Instagram because I want to see them. Also, let me know what Harry Potter house you are because... I'm just, I'm super interested to see if anybody else is undoubtedly a Slytherin. <laughs> Make sure you're following me on Instagram, it is at artsymadwoman, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you all on the next video. Goodbye. What was I doing before this? I'm going to snap.
snapper way out of this video. Bye!